Hi, I'd like to share some information on going to the net. Some information I've acquired from three people, Mr. Vic Braden, Mr. Bill Jacobson, and Mr. Common Sense. From Braden, the tennis court. If you could go to the net, reach over the net, if the rules allow that, you could hit east and west. You can hit 180 degrees. But three feet from the net, you have 130 degrees volume potential. From Bill Jacobson, the aggressive air margin. If you win two out of three points, so you go to the net, two out of three in school, that's a 66%. That's a D. In tennis, it's an A+, plus because two out of three turns into four out of six, eight out of 12, 16 out of 24. As far as Mr. Common Sense, when you're a beginner, you go to the net to lose at a faster rate, because young players don't have much reach this way, and they don't have much reach to the left or to the right. Also, when people are playing with modern day rackets, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the $100 shot from the 10 cent position. The court runs north and south. The tennis court's three feet short of being three times longer than it is wide. But the righties are moving east, the lefties are moving west, and the court runs north and south. You really wanna be managed by stats, not by score. It's, it's a fact. The people who are going to the net more are winning. The people who are not going to the net as much are losing. So I would tell the players, be managed by stats, not by score. Put yourself in a point inning situation, have some fun, play volleys and overheads, be a complete player, go to the net.